Alongside Brian Hayes, host of Overdrive TSN 1050 in Toronto. Brian, the Leafs have got points in 14 of their last 16 games. That's good. Their next four games are against teams that are 26 or worse in the overall standings. That should be good, but it's not necessarily good news. They've only won two of their last six games against teams that are currently that low in the standings. So the question is, what's wrong with this team, man? I think the answer is the same thing that's wrong with the fan base, constantly looking towards the playoffs, constantly looking for that next litmus test. When are they playing Boston? When are they playing Tampa? When are they playing Florida? And as a result, they don't pay attention to Buffalo in Columbus, in Ottawa, and they play down to their competition, and they end up getting caught, you know, and it's a bad look because they're... It's they're worse than a bad look. It's lack of focus. Exactly. You cannot be a team that's got no focus. Well, and that's the point. They're trying to build on their reputation. They're trying to create a new competition that or a, a reputation that they're a serious team. And meanwhile, if you can't beat the worst teams in the league, you're not a serious team. So they're actually hurting the own re their own reputation that I believe they're obsessed with. And it's happened constantly. You look at a game like tonight in Buffalo. Buffalo just got waxed against Columbus. They are waiting to go to sleep tonight. There will be a million Leaf fans in town and in the building tonight. The recipe is simple. Score early. Lean on them. But it's never simple with the Maple Leafs, and I don't anticipate it will be tonight or the next few games. Here's my worry, though. It, if you don't have somebody in that room, like I understand that Sheldon Keith, if you have a bad 20 minutes, he keeps going to go in there and rip the guys and try to get them back on track. But is there not anybody in that room that is now through the years, you stuck with this team year after year after year saying, we're maturing together, we're growing together, we're learning together, and they are still not at the point where somebody could stand up in that room after a rough period and say, we got to get focused, guys, and rip these guys. It's supposed to be the captain. I mean, historically, it would be that guy, you would think, John Tavares. But that is not his disposition. That is not his demeanor. He's never been that guy. I don't believe it's in the DNA of Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, William Nylander. Lessons is a word that Leaf fans, they hate to hear that word, Gino, because it's been used so many times. Yeah. We're going on eight years of lessons, lessons, lessons. They don't learn it's on them again. Their reputation is at stake here. They need to prove they're different. Come playoff time, come this the is best when teams you fix in the league. It. But this is when you do it. These are opportunities right. to prove that you're wired differently. You talked about Tavares. I want to follow up on him. Remember when we look back during camp, there were there was talk about, man, he just can't keep pace anymore. Maybe we move Neeland over to center, move Tavares onto the wing or further down the lineup. And now all of a sudden, he is back to being a point per game pace. Is this John Tavares doing something differently, or is this the he played with Nylander and now he's playing with Marner effect? Well, I think it can be a combination of both, but he's been doing it his whole career, Gino. Since he walked into the league as an 18-year-old, this guy has been the epitome of consistency. All he does is score goals, put up points. He plays 18, 19 minutes a night. He's healthy. He's predictable on the ice and predictable off the ice. He's incredibly valuable. But he was slowing. You've got to admit team. that. No, he he's not slowing. No, down. he was slowing. Yeah, that doesn't matter what he was doing, Gino. We're talking about what's he going to do tonight and what he's going to do throughout yeah. the rest of this season. The guy's got nine goals, 29 points on the season through 29 games played. What else could you ask about uh, or for a second uh, a second line center in this league? I mean, the guy is the epitome, the definition of consistency, and it's continued this year. He's defying the odds in nine years of the Islanders Tavares cracked the 80 point mark three times he's on pace for 80 points again for the third time in just six seasons as a Toronto Maple Leafs he is defying father time